All right, guys, I am pleased, pleased to show off Solace. This is by Lunar Oak Studio. They were the makers of Sheol. You might remember them from that. And they have come out with what looks to be a super cool card game. This is, it says right here, we have opened or we have obtained immortality and eternal youth. That was the beginning of the end. Now, this is a, obviously prototype stuff. So it's just a, you know, a little wrap around here. You kind of see some of the art here and what they have there. Nothing on the back. And then, of course, they have this lid. I haven't opened this yet. I just took it out of the little, uh, like, um, bag box that they put it in. So let's see what is involved here. And it's all this. So, okay, some packing to keep it kind of nice and tight in there because it looks like it doesn't take up all of this at all, which I kind of dig. It looks like they try to tape this down here like that. Again, prototype, okay? So just be aware of that, obviously, obviously. And it looks like here is perhaps a tiny little... Tiny little rule book, so that's fun. Yep, so here is the Solace rule book that I have. Right now it's just printed out here. Um, looks like it's 12 pages long currently. So that's kind of cool, but you can kind of see where it is right now. I have all, all sorts of prototypes when it comes to rule books, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, at least that one looks like it's all in English. <laughs> and we do have this here, and I think this is like the uh like campaign that you actually even play here so like you have this out here and you can actually yes this is uh mission one is all this is for the story it looks like mission one comes from uh 10 to uh 16 17 is that a seven that's a weird seven if that's the case whatever post mission is so there is a little bit of story here right and it comes with all this like art which is i think really cool uh, it looks like, you know, it's a little small on the font size, so definitely something I have to pick up and, and read, which, uh, it would be nice almost if I could open it up here so everybody could see the picture while I read it, but anyway, there's a little bit of the story here. You can see bad things happen, you know how it is. And then you have your, uh, your different characters here. Well, it looks like the selected FTO group, and then mission one, data recovery. So it has a little intro, and as you can see, there's a little uh, uh, back and forth conversation. It almost reminds me of Earth Under Siege a little bit um, when it comes to that. M material for the mission, so this is what you, what you need here. Palace cards, time cards, mission one cards, character cards. Um, and then, as you can see, you actually have different cutscenes, which is kind of cool, where they, you know, your characters interact with them, and oh my gosh, what the heck happens between, between this and that? Dear Lord. I don't think it's the same character. I think that's why it is. They're just both wearing red. <laughs> and so that's cool to see different cutscenes. Now they're almost talking together, almost like a, a, a posting, whatever. Data recovered. And then again, now more conversations back and forth as people talk. It's kind of like a visual novel a little bit. Here's the post mission and kind of what they say there. And it should lead to the mission complete and then the next mission. That's kind of cool. I dig it. I like it. I, I, again, as a fan of JRPGs, as a fan of uh, some visual novels I've played in the past on Steam and stuff like that, that looks pretty darn cool. I dig it. I like it. And we have cards, 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 cards. So let's see what we got going on here. Here comes these cards. Again, all prototype, obviously. So this is not final in any way, shape, or form for any of this. Interesting, by the way, that they have the Sheol logo down here that they're actually using that that's kind of cool i think this i think in that or not this yellow the um uh I, th I thought that was the logo for lunar Oracle studio but no I'm, I'm i'm mixing them up that's a logo for lunar Oracle studio so that is the solace one where it's just kind of holding her head there it's kind of cool i dig that looks like this is probably the characters so we'll take a look here first um looks like there's different you know values here or something like that um then you have card there. Okay, so there is like a front and back here. Let's go and take everything that looks like is his. Okay, it looks like it goes to here. So this is kind of his deck here. So we'll look at the... So like on here, there's not really much of a difference, right? But then if you come here, there is a difference. So you can see his arm changes here. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. I know they have like a bio uh, like armor and stuff like that, I believe. But as you can see, there's actually some different details there. I don't know if they're all like that. Yeah, it looks like they all tend to have a front and back for different things, doing different things, different values and different locations. It's interesting to see corners and middle as what it is. And then you see kind of more top to bottom, the, the character there, instead of regulating them to there and putting it all down here. I kind of like that. If this is extra and it's mostly just humanoids, that I think that fits 
pretty well. Looks like the back of these are pretty typical. I'm not seeing too much difference between those anyway. Now we have this, and as you can see, he's uh, changed a bit between these two. He's definitely bulked up a little bit, I would say. Um, his face is now like uncovered and or covered up and stuff like that. So obviously uh, some differences in Torah between those two states. How that works, I do not know, but that's obviously a thing. And then I think there was one other I saw. Maybe not, maybe that's, okay, so it looks like he just transforms kind of into that. And that's like one character by the looks of it. Again, could be wrong, I've not read anything. So for her, oh, I'm wondering, is that her, maybe that is her transformation, because yeah, she looks, oh, okay, so she does definitely, yep, okay. So she starts out like this, right? This is the only time it's like sideways, otherwise it's kind of like that. So that's, that's her starting out. Again, I don't know what all of these symbols are. I imagine they specialize in everything. It's probably move, right? It's probably attack with range or something like that. It's probably investigate, melee, you know, who knows what all that is. But she, eventually she transforms into that, which is super cool. This kind of reminds me of, um, oh man, no, I can't think of the name. It was an anime game, Code something or other, um, like Code 1 or Core 1 or something. Either way, it was really cool. It's kind of like a Dark Souls anime. It was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that one. It's been, like a, a, I don't know, what, two years maybe since I've played that? So again, Shiro over here starts out kind of like this. Definitely, man, he, he works out. My goodness, that's some muscles. So he goes from that. So probably a lot of, oh, I don't even know, oh, maybe raise the alarm or something like that. I wonder if he has more melee. I wonder if there's a one of his with melee as he ranged. Well, maybe not, because it only still shows one. Anyway, he turns into this guy, which is, like, crazy. Um, the game I'm thinking of had, like, a lot of gas masks on them. Maybe you guys can remember. Let me know. I can't remember what that... It was a fun game. I own it. I just don't remember the name of it right now. I'll remember it after I record, probably. It was pretty cool. And we have Araya here. And so, again, she starts out like that. Um, and then she ends up like that. That's kind of interesting. That's a different transformation than some of the other ones. Almost like a jellyfish head, huh? Very cool setting, that's for sure. I do dig that. So that's your four characters. And it looks like you have some enemies here that uh, change the different uh, uh, robots. That's the back of it there. You can see it's just buildings. Or the infiltrator, he's obviously, you know. Uh, and even even this, they're both infiltrators, but they, they have different arts. That's kind of cool to see. In fact... Are they all different? It almost looks like they're all a little different. Oh, maybe not this one. Uh, no, even that's different. So that's cool. It almost looks like every single one is a little different, which is very cool to see. So got the same background, regular soldier, and yeah, all the soldiers are different. They give them different faces even. Very cool. Man, she, uh, like that's a lot of weight. Like I'm surprised she can she can uh, stand upright. That looks like that padding would be heavy. <laughs> Uh, different turrets and stuff like that. So very much like a, a, a you know, sci-fi kind of thing. We got laser traps here. It looks like, they, again, they do like electrical damage and raise the alarm and stuff like that, perhaps. In fact, there's an alarm room. Then we have receptionist. Now this has a green top where the other ones didn't. So I don't know if these are NPCs or what or how that works. I'm not sure. Patient, civilians. Very cool to see all these different characters. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot. Now we've gone from, again, like this kind of bluish to this like orangish now for these armored units. Probably even harder enemies. They look harder. This is like a, a, a you know, Metal Gear Rex over here. <laughs> and the, or Mobile Suit Gundam or something. Yeah, look at this guy. My goodness. I don't think they add enough guns to him. He could use a few more. Okay, and then all of that, again... Oh, this has like now a timed one, so I did miss that. Did the civilians have anything different? Uh, no, I did not. Just but those other guys do. I don't know if they're bosses or elite guys or what. And we have silent, uh, some data, and then different cutscenes. That looks like it reveals a few different things there. So that's kind of cool. I dig it. All right, the guys. I mean, that's literally it. A real quick one here. Um, I, one of the things I mentioned about this was the fact that. I like a game that looks like it's fun, even has a campaign and stuff, and yet isn't a bajillion things. All this fit in a box that could have even been smaller than this. This is obviously just mission one. Obviously, there'd be a lot more in the final thing, but 
Super stoked to try this out. So I'm going to read the 12 pages of rule book. I'll be getting some time with this. I'll let you know what I think. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you have not. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye, guys.